Hi guys, welcome back sa Unbeat Formula D sa Angelo. Ngayon guys, mag-fill in the blanks naman tayo. So medyo marami na tayo na-discuss about graphs. And also, hindi lang naman graphs ang meron sa exam. Meron na mga fill in the blanks, mga paragraphs, mga tickets, mga IDs, mga yan. But this time, let's answer fill in the blanks question. But bago yan, okay, mag-shoutout muna tayo. Okay? So natatamba ka na naman ako ng mga shoutout. Okay? Okay, so sumunan natin kay Sir Moises Manalo. Okay, so Sir Moises, ang an taas ng score niya. Uh, 185 over 200, grabe. So, almost uh, perfect na to, sir. Okay? Then, kay Sir uh, Ariston Jomar. And most yata nang isi-shoutout ko ngayon, guys, is mga puro passer na to, guys. No? Then, kay um, Miss Shaina Valeros, isa pa rin sa mga passer. And then, kay Miss Jonalyn Kaino. And then, kay Sir M. Papa G. Okay, so, uh, shoutout sa inyong lahat. Okay? And then, shoutout din kay uh, Ma'am Bernadette Alamag. Uh, yeah, so, viewer natin siya sa YouTube. And, yeah. Then, shoutout din kay Sir Novelito Ka uh, Kakyao. Okay, and then kay Miss Christine Medes Tubula. Sir, pwede po pa shoutout. I've been your follower since 2018. Grabe, follower ko pa to simula nung... Uh, Nag-start ako simula nung 2018 pa. Grabe. And then next guys, yung mga uh, subscribers natin sa YouTube kay Sir Birdski Channel. So, uh, exam niya na sa June 13. So, sana sir makapasa ka. Okay? And then shoutout din kay Sir Jerry Valerio. Galing siya from Midsaya, uh, North Cotabato. Okay? Shoutout tayo sir. And then shoutout din kay Sir Glenn Ray Tamban. So, galing din siya sa Cotabato from Libuan. Okay? Shoutout tayo sir. And kay Sir Norbert Gariba. Siya shoutout din sa inyo sir. Salamat sa panunod din sa YouTube natin. And then, shoutout din kay Sir Lloyd Forger. Okay? Fan ka rin, sir, ng Spy Family. Ako din, sir. Fan din ako ng anime niya. Okay? So, kay Sir Brian Perdigon. Okay? So, shoutout sa inyo. And then, and then shoutout din kay Sir Jomari Corrales. And then, kay Sir Estranghero. So, shoutout sa inyo. And then, last, shoutout din kay Sir Ralph Pobadora. So, uh, exam niya nung May 30. So, nakalampas na to. Okay? So, uh, kumusta yung result niyo, sir? Okay? Shoutout sa inyo. Sana nakapasap po kayo. Okay? So, uh, balik na tayo dun sa lesson. Okay, so first question, guys. So, remember lang, guys, na yung mga uh, technique na ginagamit natin sa uh, graphs, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-apply dito sa fill in the blank. So, medyo kailangan natin mas magbigay uh, ng effort to understand this. Okay? And when answering mga fill in the blanks, ano yung mga dapat meron kang bawan, guys? Mga, mga synonyms, mga similar words. Okay? Yan yung mga clue. And mga antonyms din, yung mga kabaligtaran. And then yung mga verb forms. Okay? Some, sometimes, verb forms pa lang, kayang-kaya na maansiran yung question. And also, gaya ng sinabi ko, dapat pag nag-memorize kayo ng mga verbs or mga vocabs, dapat partner. Okay? Noun and verbs. Noun, adverb, verbs, and etc. Or adjectives. Okay? So, ano ibig ko sabihin? Kung may isang noun, okay, kunyari yung pinto. Okay? Kung may isang noun, isipin mo yung kadalasang ginagamit or ginagawa dyan sa pinto. Okay? Sa pinto. Usually, it's you close it or you open it. Okay? So, in Korean, that is tata to close and uh, yolda is to open. So, ganun. Dapat partner. And, hindi lang dapat partner, dapat kadalasang ginagamit. Madalas ginagamit na magkasama. Okay? So, yeah. So, basahin natin. So, chanun, kuyong hoga jiete he, chal murum nida. Sanop ilyok kung dane, chonwaeso, kung kumhan neyongul, blank, ham nida. Okay? So sa choices, muni, haryogo. Okay? So this one, kung nahihirapan ko yung basahin, isipin nyo na lang pag nasa gitna siya ng dalawang syllable, ang basa dyan ay e. Okay? Muni, haryogo. Pag nasa unahan naman siya, okay, ang basa dyan ay uy. So for example, uisa, uija. Okay? At pag nasa dulo naman siya, Sa pinakalas na isang syllable, okay, ang basa dyan ay eh. Okay, sometimes sa meaning niya ay apostrophe s or just of. Okay? So, muni haryogo. Okay, so ano yung haryogo, guys? Ito, madalas itong lumalabas sa exam, guys. Haryogo. Okay? Haryogo hada. So, this one, guys, is a future tense form. Isa sa mga klase ng future tense. But this one is something na mas, kumbaga, near future. Something that you are about to do. Okay? So, haryogo hamnida. And uh, haryogo hamnida is also your intention. Something that you are intending to do. Yung meaning ng haryogo hamnida. Okay? And 
Yeah, so number two, Jegong Haru. So what is Jegong, guys? So money is to inquire pala, guys, no? To inquire, to ask. Okay? Pag mga, usually ginagamit ito pag sa mga telephone conversation na money. Money or just to ask, okay? Pag meron kang mga hindi alam. Okay? Jegong Haru. So what is Jegong, guys? Jegong is to provide or to supply. Okay? To, yeah, Jegong. Jegong Haru. And then Keak Haru ang... This one naman, alam natin yan. Ito yung kailangan-kailangan natin na makuha pag nag apply tayo. It's a contract. Kayak is contract and kayak hada is to sign a contract. Okay? Or to enter to an agreement. Okay? And some yung hada, it means to sign. Okay? Pipirma ka lang. Or isusulat mo yung pangalan mo. Some yung. Okay? So, here, chonun is I chonun. O yung hoga je. Ito, guys, dapat alam nyo to. It's just the EPS or yung Employment Permit System. Okay? Etehe. Okay? So, etehe, guys. So, this is a form. This is noun. Okay? Yung noun natin is this one. Plus, etehe. Ibig sabihin niya na about the noun. Okay? So, about the Employment Permit System, chal murum nida. Okay? So, ano yung verb natin? Ano yung pinaka-base form? That is, buruda. Ibig sabihin, to not know. And chal, guys, is uh, well. Okay? So, chal plus verb, guys, is to do well. Or to action, to do the action well. Okay? So, chal mo goyo is to eat well, to sing well, well is to uh, dure chal heyo. Okay? So, that is chal. Okay? And here, since murudo guys, is a negative verb, to not know well, or to don't know well much about the employment permit system. So, hindi niya masyadong alam yung EPS, usually sa mga baguan. Okay? Chal morum nila. Okay? I don't know well. And then, pag sinabi, uh, may nagtanong sa'yo na tao, you can say, pag hindi mo alam, chal morum nila, or chal murugesum nila. I don't know. Okay? So, parang, I don't know lang yan. Okay. So, next, Sano Pilyo Kungdan. So, ano naman to? Yan yung Human Resource Development. Okay? Yung HRD. Kung lalagyan natin yan ng Hanguk, so that is HRD. Okay? HRDK. Okay? So, John Wahada. So, so, what is John Wahada? To call. Okay? Tatawag. And ano yung so dito, guys? So, Okay, yung so na yan, guys, it's not because or since. So, itong so na to is ginagamit yan para ipakita yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng action. Okay, yung una niyang gagawin, first action niya is to call. Okay, tatawag siya. And then, yung verb. Okay, yung first action niya is John Wahada. And then, yung second action is yung hindi pa natin alam na uh, sa choices. Okay? And, kung gumada. Okay, so what is kung gumada? Kung gumhada, it's to, uh, to be curious. Okay? Kung gumhan na yung is something, uh, na yung is yung mga content. Okay? Mga subject matter. Mga nilalaman. Okay? Then, blank is, yeah, then hamida. Okay? So, ano yung tamang sagot, guys? Ano yung pinaka uh, clue natin dito? Yung burum nida. Okay? Yung to not know well. Okay? Kasi, pag may hindi ka alam, Okay? Yung to provide ba is something na related if you don't know something. Okay? So, this person doesn't know about, uh, doesn't know much about the employment permit system. Okay? So, ang intention ngayon is uh, tatawag siya sa HRD and then, anong gagawin niya? Tatawag siya para mag-provide <laughs> mag -pro mag -provide ng content. So, remember yung object natin is na yung mag-provide ng subject matter or mag sign ng contract. Okay, hindi pa. Wala pa siyang employer. <laughs> and then, mag-sign ng, mag ng neyong. So, hindi na. Yung answer natin is yung muni. Okay? So, tata tatawag siya para magtanong about dun sa content na hindi niya alam. About dun sa subject matter. Mga nilalaman. O yung, kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng goyong hoka dyan na yan. Kung anong mga process, anong mga nilalaman. Okay? So, answer here is muni haryogo. So, next question, guys. So, this one, basahin muna natin ulit. So, che, usanun, taku, blank. Chobol sudo isoso, kabangi nowo, tanigiga, chusumida. Okay? Ilbon, kabyop, sumida. Ibon, mugop, sumida. Sambon, udop, sumida. Uh, udop, sumida. Oh, tup, sumida. 
1번 가볍습니다. 2번 무겁습니다. 3번 어둡습니다. And then 4번 맛있습, 아, 맛있습니다. <웃음> 아, okay, so J guys is, what is this? It's my. Okay, J. Okay, J, my 우산. 우산 is umbrella. 작고. So what is 작다? 작다 it means to be small. Okay, and then N is, I mean, ku is N. Okay, so pag inialagay mo yung after a verb, okay, or after, after an adjective, ibig sabihin niya ay N. Ibig sabihin, meron kang dalawang klase ng uh, verb or may dalawang klase ka ng adjective. Okay? To be, uh, here, to be small, and kung alin mo yung tamang sagot dyan. Di pa natin alam. Okay? Chopul sudo isoso. So what is chopta, guys? Chopta is to fold. Okay, so remember yung payong is natutupi. I mean, hindi siya natutuwing ganun. Kung baga napapaliit. So, chopta is to fold. Okay? So, chopul sudo iso. So, so, so is because or since. So, since you can even fold the umbrella, kabang eh, no. Okay, so kabang is bag and not ta is what guys? To put something into somewhere. Okay? In this case, to put to put in, uh, to put it in the bag. Kung baga pwede mong uh, ipasok sa bag since natutupi yung uh, umbrella. Okay? Tani giga. So, what is tani da, guys? Tani da. Tani da is to go around. Okay? So, pag ikinocombine natin to sa mga uh, verb, ang ibig sabihin niya is uh, to go around doing that verb. Okay? Here, kabang eh, no, tani da is to put something into your bag and then carry it around. Okay? So, carrying it around is good. Okay? So, yun yung ginagawa ng gi. Okay? Uh, ginagawa niyang noun yung isang verb into the into a form na I, parang ing form na, sa English. No? So, carrying it around is good. Okay? Or it's good for carrying it uh, carrying it around. Yung umbrella. Okay? So, yeah. So, na, in, na get you meaning. So, meron siyang umbrella. Okay, yung umbrella niya ay maliit and di pa natin alam. And since yung umbrella niya is natutupi, pwedeng-pwedeng ilagay sa bag and then pwedeng daladalahin. Okay, so ano yung pinakatamang verb, uh, adjective here? What is kabiopta? Kabiopta is to be light, magaan. Okay, and number two, what is mugopta? To be, yung opposite ng kabiopta is to be heavy. Okay, to be heavy and udupta is to be, what is this? Uh, to be dark. Okay? Udupta. Pag namamatay yung ilaw, that is uh, uduwo. Uh, madilim. Okay? To be dark. And moshita. So, this is moshita pala. Mali yung basa ko kanina. Moshi sumnida is to be cool. Okay? So, ano yung tamang sagot? Okay? It should be, since uh, yung verb natin dito ay parang positive yung meaning, chakta. Okay? To be, to be, uh, small and kabiopta. Okay? Kabiopta is the right answer, guys. To be small and light. Yung mukopta, bakit hindi ito answer? Okay? So, mukopta is to be heavy. So, kayang pag, pag mabigat ba isang bagay, uh, maganda bang daladalahin pag maalis ka? Di ba? Hindi, di ba? And udopta is not uh, irrelevant. Na hindi hindi siya bag, uh, hindi siya fit dito sa sentence. And then, uh, number four, bushita. So, ginagamit natin ito pag sinabing Cool isang babae or isang lalaki to be cool. Okay? So, answer here, it's kabiopta. To be small and light. Okay? Ma ma maliit at magaan yung umbrella niya. Okay? So, next question, guys. Basahin muna natin ulit. Okay? So, oje, pulkugirul, chow magasunida. Panun meon umsigul, tal munmong nunde, pulkuginun, blank anaso, chowasunida. Okay? Ilbon, chaji, uh, ibon, suji, and then, sambon, talji, and then, uh, sabon, it's mepchi. Okay, ano yung chi yan, guys? Pag yung pinaka-verb sem natin ay ito lang, no? Sada is to be uh, salty, maalat. Suda, so what is suda? To be bitter, okay, mapait. And then, talda is to be uh, sweet, matamis. And then, number four, mepta, to be spicy. So, this is all about uh, taste, okay? So, oje, yesterday, bulgogi. So, what is bulgogi? Bulgogi, okay? Uh, parang barbecue, no? Korean barbecue. Chom, chom, mogosumnida. So, mogotta or mokta, alam nyo na yan, to eat. Chom is 
uh, for the first time. Okay? So, yesterday, I ate bulgogi for the first time. So, umain siya ng uh, Korean barbecue kahapon. For the first time, chanun ay meon umsigul chal mun mong nun de. Okay, so, meon umsig. So, what is that? So, ito, galing sa suburb na or adjective na map ta to be spicy. Okay? So, yung form niya naging uh, parang uh, modifier form. No, meon umsig is spicy food. Okay? Umsig is food. Chal mun mong nun de. Ano to? Okay? So, chal mun mok. to guys. Chal and then mot. Paikabit natin sa sa uh, sa verb. Before a verb, ibig sabihin niya na I can't. Okay? So, can't eat well. Okay? Or can't handle well. Okay? Alin, yung mga spicy food. So, hindi siya mag... Kung baga, hindi siya magaling kumain ng mga spicy foods. Okay? Uh, um, uh, mayon, um, sigul, chal, mun, mong, nunde. So, ano ba yung nunde, guys? Ano yung gamit ng nunde? So, maraming gamit yung nunde. So, una, nunde, kung alam niyo yung kuronde, okay? So, that is but. So, this is the same. Pero yung nunde is ginagamit to connect to sentences and sometimes yung meaning niya ay and, sometimes yung meaning niya ay but. Okay? So, pag ang meaning niya ay but, okay, yung first sentence mo is yung meaning ng first sentence niya should be different sa meaning ng pangalawang sentence mo or opposite ng meaning. Okay? So, that is the clue. Okay? So, yeah. So, here, bulgogi nun, blang anaso. G anaso. So, this is just a form, a negative form. Ikinakabit natin yan sa mga verb stem. And kung ang, for example, yung number one, chada, to be salty. And pag sinabing chaji ana, is, or chaji anta, is not salty. So, ibig sabihin lang is not. Okay? And, yeah. So, chuwaso because it's blank. <laughs> okay? Chuwaso mda. It was good. Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin? So, gaya yung sinabi ko, yung nunde is but. So, ano yung unang sinabi niya? Chonun meon umsigul chal mun mong nunde. Okay? Hindi siya magaling kumain ng meon umsig. Ito yung unang taste na nabanggit. So, ibig sabihin, kung but yan, kung meaning yan ay but, ibig sabihin yung sagot ay kabaligtaran ng meon. Okay? Anong kabaligtaran ng mewo? An mewoyo or mepchi anayo, which is yung number four. Okay? So, what is ch chada guys? To be salty. Yung bulgogi, hindi naman siya uh, maalat. Okay? Sometimes ka medyo matabang pa. Okay? So, parang romit lang na iihawin. Okay? Suda is to be bitter. Usually, ginagamit natin sa mga ano ba, mga medicine na mababait. Salda is to be sweet. Wala mong matamis siguro na uh, bulgogi. Okay? So, answer is mepchi anaso. Chua So, it was good because it was not spicy. Okay? So, kahapon kumain ako ng uh, bulgogi for the first time. Okay? So, I can't handle spicy food well. Hindi ako masyadong magaling kumain ng mga spicy. But, yung bulgogi kahapon na kinain namin is hindi maanghang. So, okay lang. It was good. No, kung baga nag-enjoy siya. Okay? Answer is number four. Okay, so next question guys. And this is the last question. Okay? So, basahin natin ulit. So, kuyang e keshin pumunim ke diriryogu sonmurul sasumida. Kureso, sonmurul puchirogu chigum blank e kamnida. Okay? Ilwan unheng, iwan pangulwan, and then sambon shichong, and then sabon uchegu. Okay, so this time, it's a place. No? Meron tayong place marker. And then, kada. To go to a place. Okay? To go to a bank. To go to a, what is pang maluguan? Museum. <laughs> Museum. And then, uh, Sichong is, what is this? City Hall. Okay? And then, number four is Uchiguk. Uh, post office. Okay? So, Kuyang, guys, alam nyo to. This is hometown. Okay? Kuyang e, ke, shin, pumunim ke. Okay? So, pumunim, guys, you know this. This is parents, no? mga uh, magulang natin. Keshin. Sa anong, saan galing yung keshin, guys? Okay? So, keshin, guys, is from the verb keshida. Ibig sabihin yan ay to, to exist or to stay. Okay? And keshin, guys, yan yung honorific form ng uh, verb na ita, to exist. And remember, guys, na yung keshida, guys, ginagamit lang natin sa tao. Usually, mga matatanda, mga matataas yung rank kaysa sa atin, social status, or mga teacher, or mga tao na kailangan nating maging mas magalang. 
katulad ng parents, no? So ito yung mga parents na naandon nagstay sa hometown niya. Okay? Turida. So what is Turida? Turida is to to give, okay? Honorary from ng Judah, Turida, okay? And Riogo is again Riogo intention. So bakit siya bumili ng gifts, guys? Ano yung purpose niya? Okay? So uh, bumili siya ng gifts to give, okay? To give, iyan yung purpose niya to his parents uh, in his hometown. Okay? Na, na, nandun, dun nakatira sa hometown nila. Okay? So, kure. So, so, therefore, san marul putsirago. So, this one, meron naman tayong intention. Okay? Intention niya ay, what is putsida, guys? Putsida is pra, parang, ano rin to? Parang, ano pa? To send, punida. Okay? Putsida, punida, to send. Chigum, blank, e kamida. So, saan ba nagsesend ng mga son, uh, son mul, guys? Sa unheng ba? So, di, no? Sa unang, usually uh, about money yung usapan. Mga pera. Pangmulugwan. So, what is pangmulugwan, guys? Uh, museum. Okay? So, hindi ka naman magsasend ng uh, gifts sa pangmulugwan. And then, number two, Shichong. Okay? Shichong is yung city hall. Uh, pwede kung yung sa city hall is mayroong padalahan ng mga uh, son mul, but hindi pa rin. Usually, mga ano yan, mga process ng mga papers and something, no? And then, number four, four is the answer, Uchego. Okay? So, post office. Diyan tayo nagpapadala ng mga sulat and also kasama rin dyan yung mga packages. Okay? Mga uh, tekpe. Kung tawagin ng Korean, tekpe. So, answer is Uchego. Okay? So, kung nakatulong sa inyo guys yung mga katulad ng video na ito, huwag nyo naman kalimutang i-follow at i-subscribe yung channel natin sa YouTube. And also, i-share nyo rin sa iba sa mga gusto pang matuto. Okay? So, once again, thank you for watching. Uh, see you again next time. Bye-bye!